Hey there, this is Anvit here from Hacks and Geeks. In yesterday's video, I showed you guys how to install Kali Linux on virtual machine, that's the VMware. But the only problem was it was paid and they gave only 12 days of trial. But the good news is there is an alternative which works similar to VMware but lacks few features. But for our purpose, it's fine. The software is named as Oracle VirtualBox. So today I'll be showing you guys how to install Kali Linux on Oracle VirtualBox. In yesterday's video, I told you guys what is virtual machine. Let me explain you guys it again. Virtual machine is a piece of technology which lets you run an operating system inside an operating system. In simple words, it's something like a computer inside of a computer. So there are three main softwares in this field. One being the VMware and the second one being Oracle VirtualBox and the third one is iParallels which is only available for Mac computers. This virtual machine is mainly used for the purpose of testing any new software or a virus or something which may break your computer. Without wasting any time, let me switch on to my computer to show you guys how to install it. To begin with, you have to open this website that is virtualbox.org and all the links will be put under the description so you can open that and download this anytime. First, you need to download this. As I'm in a Windows machine, I'll be downloading this one. As you can see, I have already downloaded this. So the next thing you need to download is this Kali Linux for VirtualBox. You have to go for this website and usually it will be like VMware images. Then click on this option to get the pre-built Kali Linux VirtualBox images. After that, you need to find out which is your operating system. You may have a 64-bit operating system or a 32-bit operating system. To find out which operating system you are running on, Hold your Windows button and press R. That will bring up a run box that you have to type MS Info 32 and hit enter. Then a box will open up saying system information. Here you can, the first option you'll find is the operating system you're running on. If you go down, you can see one option called a system type. Mine states x64 based PC. That means mine is in 64 bit operate, uh, operating system. But you may have x32 32-bit or x86 data PC, if it says x32 or x86, you need to download this option, Kali, uh, Kali Linux 32-bit VBOX PAE. You can download it directly or by torrent. And make sure you are in the VirtualBox images folder and not in VMware images. But as I said, mine was 64-bit, uh, so I'll be downloading this first one that is Kali Linux 64-bit VBOX. As you guys can see, I have already downloaded this Kali Linux 2016.1 VBOX AMD64 now and also the VirtualBox. So first, let me begin with installing this VirtualBox. Just let me just wait until it loads up, then hit next. Then you can modify it, but it would be better to just click next. After that, I'm going to start this Oracle VM VirtualBox. So I hit on finish and it's going to open up right here. As you can see, this is my virtual box. The next thing I'm going to be doing is opening this one. So I have moved it to my de desktop here. And uh, that's one thing. It says Kali Linux 2016 VBOX and it's in uh, .7z file. So you need WinRAR or 7z to extract this. So I'm going to extract it on onto the same folder. Extraction has been completed now. As you can see, there's a file Kali Linux 2016.1 VBOX AMD64.OVA. So I'm going to double click on it and it's going to prompt me to import virtual appliances. First, what I'm going to do is just click on import and it's going to take me a while until it gets imported. <music> It has successfully imported it here. I'm going to click on it and click on settings to change the settings how I want. So if I go to system, I can allocate more RAM space for it. So what I usually end up doing is 
allocating it 4 to 6 GB of RAM as I have 16 gig. You can allocate the RAM according to your system. So I'm gonna leave it at 5.2 GB or some, uh, somewhere near it and click on OK. Or I can even change the display properties, video memory or anything that is required. I just want these settings to be changed so I'm just gonna click OK now. So the settings will be applied immediately after you click OK. Then you can just click on the virtual box and click on start icon there. It may take a minute to load this screen and then you can just maximize that. There will be an option to enter your username. So the default username is root, root for R O O T. So you're gonna typing, you're gonna be typing R O O T there and hit next. Then it will ask for uh, you for the password and it is exactly the opposite of the username that is T O O R two. So I'm gonna be typing T O O R and hit enter again. Then the desktop has been loaded now and as you can see I can open up anything. I can work see as same as if I'm working it after installing it. So here is the terminal and here is the book suit and I can open leaf pad, virtual box or VMware works fine. But there is a disadvantage here. You won't get the actual system capabilities to work with in the virtual machine. Only solution to overcome this problem is installing this into your hard disk or to an SSD. But if you don't know how to do that, check out the link in the description on how to install Kalinux onto your hard disk or an SSD. Thank you for watching the video guys. If you disliked the video, hit that dislike button. But if you liked it and want to see more of this, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel because we are going to have some amazing content coming to our channel soon and if you want to support us you can share this video on your social media site and that's it for today guys thank you once again for watching this video goodbye